Hi Stitchers, welcome to Stitchin' It. My name is Stephanie and it's a big day today because I have finally finished Long Dog Sampler's Hoity Toity and I have finished it um, as a tapestry hanging and it's already in my house um, and I'm enjoying it immensely so I wanted to take a few minutes to show you guys um, how it came to be and um, I hope you'll enjoy it. Hoity Toity came out in February of 2017 and I originally um, saw this piece when I was going to the Long Dog website and I was originally going for something like Death by Cross Stitch but I saw this piece as it had been released and I was just blown away. I loved how uh, the border was just um, so colorful but with all that black I mean it was just bold and I uh, really fell in love with it right away. So I started it last year in March and it was actually the first piece that I showed on my floss tube video and it's been making regular appearances since then. Right from the beginning I knew I wanted to finish it as a tapestry hanging. Um, I kind of got that idea because um, I thought that the border um, alone was itself. I didn't want it to compete with a frame and I wasn't really, this was one of my first biggest pieces so I didn't know if I wanted to make the investment that it costs um, to frame something so large. It is on 28 count fabric although um, as I've explained before since it's MCG textiles it didn't come out exactly the dimensions were planned but the finished dimensions were about um, 18 inches wide and uh, 22 inches long for the st actual stitching part. This is a close-up of one of the corners of the tapestry banner and I really have just I'm so excited the way it came out because I have seen people doing a double frame um, and that's really what I was trying to mimic with a mitered corner um, and the, the double inset border I just thought set it off really nicely. Um, it was so difficult to do it and I really couldn't have done it without my um, help from my friend Bianca but I still did most of the finishing and the sewing myself so I'm very proud of it. I used more than 40 skeins of Gentle Arts um, floss in this project and I think it's gorgeous um, and, and I remember one of my biggest memories you know was that when I for most of this project I was reordering thread and on a kind of a regular basis and so I always had a pile of, of thread but as I got closer to the finish that pile got less and less and it kind of worried me at some point but it all worked out in the end. These peacocks were definitely my favorite motif to stitch in the whole piece. I saved them for last um, so that I could always remember them and to me they really make the piece. Um, if anything is hoity-toity in these pieces, those peacocks are. So I love the design, I'm happy to be finished, and um, I'm glad you guys got to uh, take a peek. I was also really pleased how it came out as a banner hanging. Um, you know, it came together pretty quickly. I was able to do it in less than one day, and um, it was a lot more easier. I think, you know, it'll be nice for traveling and, um, so I can take it around and show some of my stitching friends uh, what I've accomplished. Um, Hoity Toity is not the only thing I've been working on this year, so um, I hope to be back in a couple weeks or less with um, an update video. And I hope you guys will join me and subscribe and like, and I'll see you soon.